A new era is on the horizon. This era will mark the powerful collaborations between SpaceX and NASA under Isaacman's leadership. However, the beginning of this exciting chapter comes with a bittersweet twist. A project cherished by many, including myself, will be put on hold. That project is none other than the Polaris Dawn mission on Starship. But don't worry, this pause might hint at something even more ambitious and groundbreaking for this mission. In contrast to SpaceX's momentum, their rival Blue Origin faces delays with their new Glenn rocket. Let's explore these developments in today's episode of Great SpaceX. We are nearing 2025, a pivotal year when leadership at NASA transitions from Bill Nelson to Jared Isaacman. This change is expected to usher in a new era of innovation and ambition for NASA, with hopes that Isaacman will help the agency recapture its glory days. Even more exciting is the strong relationship between Isaacman and SpaceX, which has already paved the way for significant collaboration. Together, they spearheaded the Polaris Dawn mission, a hallmark of their partnership. Before being named the next NASA administrator, Jared Isaacman was known as a billionaire with a profound passion for space exploration. He commanded and financed the Inspiration4 mission in 2021, making history as the first all-civilian spaceflight. In September of this year, he led the Polaris Dawn mission, where he donned the SpaceX EVA suit and flew aboard the Dragon spacecraft to the highest altitude achieved since Apollo 17 conducting extravehicular activities along the way. Given the impressive background, many are eager to see the continuation of the Polaris Dawn program. Two more Polaris missions are planned. The first, Polaris Dawn 2, involves a proposal to repair and raise the Hubble telescope's orbit. The second, Polaris Dawn 3, is even more innovative. This mission is set to use SpaceX's Starship for EVAs providing astronauts the unique opportunity to live and work in the world's largest spacecraft. The Starship platform is estimated to accommodate up to 100 passengers and includes designs influenced by the Starship HLS, or Human Landing System. Such a mission would revolutionize space exploration and traditional EVAs, making it one of the most anticipated ventures under Isaacman's leadership. Unfortunately, this vision is unlikely to materialize immediately. During the Space Power 2024 conference on December 11th, Isaacman admitted that the private mission planned under the Polaris program might be temporarily paused, stating, The future of the Polaris program is a little bit of a question mark at the moment. It may wind up on hold for a moment. This means that missions like Polaris Dawn 2 and the ambitious Starship-based EVA activities will likely be delayed. For now, the Hubble telescope will continue to operate with its current limitations, and the prospect of Starship-based EVAs will remain a distant goal. While this news may be disheartening for space enthusiasts, there are reasons to remain optimistic. Isaacman's new role as NASA Administrator comes with immense responsibilities particularly leading the Artemis Moon mission, which has faced multiple delays over the years. Artemis is a cornerstone for the United States' space ambitions in the 21st century. Furthermore, pausing Polaris missions allows SpaceX to continue developing Starship into a more reliable and capable spacecraft. The Polaris Dawn 3 mission is planned to commence only after Starship completes at least 100 successful cargo flights. While this milestone is achievable, Ensuring the safety and readiness of crewed missions requires an even greater focus on refinement and reliability. This pause, therefore, isn't entirely a setback. It's an opportunity to bolster the success rate of those groundbreaking missions. In terms of scheduling, it's unclear whether Isaacman will remain in office after his term. However, it is reasonable to hope that the Starship Polaris Dawn mission will occur within the next four years, combining Isaacman's leadership with SpaceX's engineering prowess. Given SpaceX's ambitious goals, including a crewed lunar landing in 2027 and Mars missions in the next two to four years, the timeline aligns with the potential realization of Polaris Dawn 3. Predicting an exact date is challenging, but early 2027 seems like an ideal window. This would allow NASA and SpaceX to focus on Artemis missions while laying the groundwork for crewed Starship ventures. Space enthusiasts are encouraged to share their predictions and stay updated on SpaceX's journey by subscribing to our channel. 
In the meantime, SpaceX is accelerating Starship's development to prepare for these monumental missions. The next major step is Flight 7 which could occur as early as January of 2025. Key objectives include successfully catching the Super Heavy Booster with Mechazilla and advancing toward full-stage recovery. Following this, SpaceX will prioritize building its in-orbit refueling system, a critical component for missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. To meet these ambitious goals, SpaceX plans to ramp up its launch cadence, targeting 25 flights in 2024 and an astonishing 400 Starship flights over the next four years, averaging 100 flights per year. Notably, this aligns with prerequisites for launching the Polaris Dawn missions, further increasing the likelihood of their eventual realization under Isaac Min's leadership. The regulatory landscape is also expected to shift favorably. Isaacman has been a staunch advocate for SpaceX, and his leadership at NASA could eliminate some of the bureaucratic hurdles that have previously slowed SpaceX and the broader space industry. With fewer obstacles, SpaceX can focus on rapid development and frequent launches, propelling Starship into a new chapter of space exploration. Under Isaacman's tenure, SpaceX and NASA are poised to form a formidable alliance. This partnership not only strengthens the U.S.'s position in the space race, but also inspires global collaboration and innovation. As Elon Musk and his team at SpaceX push technological boundaries, their role in shaping the future of space exploration becomes increasingly significant. The synergy between SpaceX and NASA under Isaacman's leadership represents a vital opportunity for humanity to achieve its most ambitious goals in space. Are you ready to witness this transformative era? Indeed, the opportunities in the aerospace industry are expanding rapidly, not just for SpaceX, but for all companies. However, not everyone can capitalize on these developments, and Blue Origin is a prime example of a company falling behind. Unlike SpaceX's Polaris Dawn delay, which consolidates its mission's success, Blue Origin's delays appear to be pushing the company toward stagnation. Recently, journalist Jeff Faust shared Blue Origin's updated roadmap on X. A big thank you to Jeff for this valuable information. I encourage everyone to follow his page and read his articles for more insights into the aerospace industry. According to Faust, Rob Lillis revealed that the Mars Escapade mission is now targeting a launch opportunity in 2025 or 2026 for two small satellites. These satellites would then arrive at Mars in 2027. What's significant here? The Escapade mission was originally slated for October of this year as part of New Glenn's debut. However, NASA, concerned about New Glenn's readiness, postponed the mission to early next year. Now, based on Lillis's statement, even an early 2024 launch appears unlikely, with the timeline slipping into the following year. This scenario is plausible given Blue Origin's struggles with its debut mission. Despite years of preparation, critical mission hardware has yet to undergo hot fire tests. Moreover, receiving a launch license this month seems increasingly improbable, as confirmed by reliable sources. This effectively means that 2024 will mark another year where Blue Origin fails to reach orbit, a disappointment that has cascading effects, delaying not just the Escapade mission, but also NASA's broader Mars exploration timeline. Unlike SpaceX's deliberate delays to enhance mission success, Blue Origin's setbacks stem from systemic slowness and inefficiency. Rather than appearing as a culmination of progress, these delays suggest that Blue Origin may be unwilling or unable to advance the mission meaningfully. The implications of Blue Origin's delay are profound. The best opportunity to reach Mars occurs every two years, and missing this window means NASA and Blue Origin would have to wait until the next launch window. The Escapade mission is a crucial step in Mars exploration, and further delays could significantly hinder NASA's progress. Moreover, if Blue Origin fails to demonstrate its potential, figures like Jared Isaacman, who has a growing influence in space projects, could decide to reassign the mission to a more capable company. SpaceX, with its proven track record, is the most likely candidate to step in, offering the flexibility and reliability necessary to ensure the mission's success. For Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin, such a move would be a public and professional embarrassment. As I said before, a new era in space exploration is upon us. This era 
demands agility, innovation, and readiness as the aerospace industry enters a period of unprecedented activity. Companies that are slow or adhere to outdated development methods will find it increasingly difficult to compete. Fortunately, this revolutionary period is being led by individuals who are young, dynamic, and experienced across various domains. While this opens doors for strong companies to thrive, it also poses significant challenges for organizations that cannot adapt. At present, SpaceX's Starship and Blue Origin's New Glenn symbolize two opposing extremes. SpaceX, relentless progress, while Blue Origin, a struggle to keep pace. The leaders of future space exploration are already becoming evident, and it's clear which company holds the upper hand. The road ahead is uncertain, but the direction of progress is undeniable. SpaceX continues to demonstrate the drive, innovation, and capability required to lead this new era, leaving companies like Blue Origin with a stark choice, evolve or be left behind. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.